Hello, MASH students, parents, and staff. This is Mr. Reedy. Uh, in this short screencast you're about to see, uh, you're going to be learning about our new one-to-one -one Chromebook program here at MASH. Uh, and you're going to just uh, explore with me some uh, general tips uh, with, uh, with care for this awesome tool. Uh, you're going to be learning about your new responsibility as a student uh, with the care of this device and uh, the importance of making sure it's charged each and every single day uh, before you go to school and uh, making sure that you travel with it in a secure place. So you'll get some tips, you'll get some troubleshooting uh, hints, and, um, and I'm looking forward to learning with you uh, this school year. All right, so let's jump into this here. So why one-to-one? -one? Uh, first off, this is a learning tool uh, to help you develop digital skills. And the skills are gonna help you apply thinking in, in, to authentic and meaningful situations. Uh, so that's the biggest reason. Secondly, this tool is gonna help you um, really just have access uh, to, to at home if you don't already have it, uh, that seamless uh, classroom to, to, um, uh, to, to home experience, which is important, uh, especially uh, these days. And then third, it's a, it's a tool to help you minimize health risk uh, or minimize your health risk associated with just sharing devices that typically would be like in a Chromebook car. There's so many other reasons too. Um, this opportunity really fits our mission and our vision here at, at uh, in the district and at MASH. Um, and I equate this tool to be a, like a tool in your, uh, like in a work shed. Um, it's your tool to use. It's, it's your tool to, to practice your digital skills with. So uh, in the next few minutes, I'm gonna go through um, student responsibility and, and tips for care, um, including expectations. So uh, I'll run through these here. Um, not gonna elaborate too much on them, but uh, at this point, you should probably have already registered your device at advisory. Uh, the device is gonna be the property of MASD. It's, uh, it's not like something that you can sell on eBay or something, um, but this is uh, property of, of Mechanicsburg Area School District. Keep in mind, guys, that um, this is, uh, you're responsible for your, uh, the equipment um, and you're responsible for your behavior on it, uh, the mannerisms in which you use it. Um, and so we do have a, uh, an acceptable use policy uh, that is on our website. I'll show you here. It will be uh, worthwhile, especially parents uh, watching this, to just go through this. It's, it's not a policy that's new. Um, it's, it's been around for a while. Uh, but uh, the things that you do on your device, uh, even at home with your device, um, all that stuff matters. Other student responsibilities, um, you should be the only one using this device. Do not share your device with others. Um, make sure that you take good care and we'll talk about tear, uh, care tips coming up. Um, but uh, you're going to make sure that uh, you don't damage this equipment. Um, there would be a cost associated with it, and we'll talk about that. But if damage does occur, make sure you contact Mrs. Buck at MASH, and we'll provide some contact info for you. Um, view this Chromebook and this device and the charger as like equipment that you would get or books that you'd get, like a textbook. You know, if you were to lose your textbook, like your bio textbook, um, there would be a fee associated with that, a cost. If you were to damage them, there's a fee, there's a cost to that. So have that same um, viewpoint about your device. Expectations to and from school. Uh, make sure it's safely in a backpack. Um, it's a great idea because, you know, when you're walking around with tons of things in your hands, you're gonna want a secure place for it. Um, it, it might be a good idea too in your backpack. Uh, put an umbrella in there, put some plastic bags in there that you can wrap your, your device in uh, so it doesn't get damaged if you're a walker, if you're walking out to your car. Um, fully charge your device at home before you go to school. That's gonna be key because we do not want you to bring your charger to school. It's a safety hazard to have cords reaching out all over the place. We don't want anybody to trip or lose uh, your device as well. Um, can I use my own device? Let's say you have your own device that you've purchased, it's your personal computer. You can absolutely bring it to school uh, with you and use it as such. Uh, we would ask at this time, and it could change, but at this time, um, we want you to still register your Chromebook um, an advisory, bring it home, bring the charging code, uh, cord home with you and just keep it there because there might be a, a, a time where your personal computer is not working and you need something to school. Um, so make sure you do that. In the classroom, 
follow the discretion of your teacher. Uh, they're going to share with you um, their rules and expectations in the classroom. Uh, when I was a teacher in the classroom, number two here on the chart was something I did often. I would call it put your screens at half mast. Uh, that's a 45 degree angle of the screen, and that that would help remind the students that I need their attention. I need them to be with me and not their laptops at this point. Device care. Um, it's t tempting sometimes to have uh, a beverage alongside your laptop or food, um, you know, eat and work at the same time. Uh, I am guilty of that. Um, however, I could tell you from experience, uh, it's not a good idea because um, a spill can happen. Um, and we're going to make sure that uh, your workspace is clear of those things uh, as well, especially in this age of COVID. Um, you know, make sure that your hands are clean and sanitized uh, when you're when you're using your device. Um, as far as cleaning, uh, which again, era of COVID, um, never spray anything directly on your device. Um, it's a good idea if you're going to use like, a sanitizer wipe, uh, something like this. You know that you make sure it's not sopping wet, it's not soaking wet. Um, make sure it's it's kind of ringed out first, and then you can uh, clean your your keyboard with it. Um, and I have some other tips on this screen for you as well. Talk about batteries as well. Make sure you, you think about theft. Um, don't leave your Chromebook unattended. Um, you know, don't just leave it uh, in a classroom and. And, and leave uh, in regards to just keeping it there overnight or anything like that. You don't want to do that. Uh, don't just throw it in the back seat of your car. Um, you want to make sure that you hold on to it. Uh, make sure you uh, make sure it's safe. Another tempting thing that we sometimes do with our Chromebooks is putting lots of papers in there and then walk into class with it like it's a binder. Uh, that could damage the screen. So avoid doing that. It's actually set up where you can close the screen and um, it will uh, it will kind of go in sleep mode. You open it back up again, and uh, your screen should uh, should pop up after a login. Um, some obvious things here: don't put anything heavy on your on your device. Make sure you take cords out carefully. Uh, make sure you don't keep it in the sun. Uh, That's all some common sense stuff for your device. Already talked about your screen being open. Don't don't carry it around like that. Of course, um, don't decorate your school device with any any stickers or anything like that. Um, You'll have your number underneath it. Make sure you kind of take a picture of that number underneath your laptop so you know it's yours. That's a great tip I would recommend you guys as well. When you get home, um, you know, check out the connection uh, with your Wi-Fi. And the, the school website has some resources there for you in case you do not have access to Wi-Fi. But uh, the, the Chromebooks are pretty easy at identifying them and then saving that information. For troubleshooting, um, we're, we're going with the attempt of student-driven problem solving. Start with our district tech support resources. It's part of the problem solving that we want you as students to take a hold of instead of just going to somebody and saying, hey, can you fix this right away? Uh, we're trying to equip you uh, with those skills necessary. You can scan this code with your phone uh, to get to the website. I'll just show you briefly. Uh, when you get to this Google site on our district website, um, you can click on technology help or FAQs. It will give you some common questions that uh, typically come up with, with your device. There's also a section uh, if you go to grades 4 through 12, Chromebooks 4 through 12. A lot of great resources here as well for you and it'll be updated often, uh, especially quick guides. Another great thing on this site is technology help. Uh, we already went through that. Um, uh, Google Apps um, to get uh, information about how to use these apps. Uh, there's other other four grades four through twelve apps, and you know if you have questions about Flipgrid, especially as parents, if you want to know more about these things, uh, there's a lot of great information in there uh, for you. So uh, really use um, the district websites for this purpose. While we're here, you can also favorite or bookmark uh, the site, um, and uh, you can you can do Control D on your Chromebook uh, once you get to the site. Um, it's a great habit to get into. Number two, if, uh, if your question's not there or you're, it's not answered, you can Google it. You can ask a classmate. You can ask a teacher. And if it's a really serious problem, uh, Mrs. Buck is in our library um, and our team that's uh, in there as well, um, including myself uh, uh, and possibly some students as we go throughout the year. 
Um, if it's face to face, you can email her with this email address. If it's remote and you're at home, you can also you can give her a call. Um, try emailing her, uh, but there's also the phone call uh, 691-4530, extension 3045. Give uh, your name, full name, clearly your contact information, summary of the problem, and we'll do the best we can to get back to you quick and possibly do a device swap out until your uh, Chromebook is fixed. Parents, we're on this journey together as well. Um, Common Sense Media is an outstanding resource for you. Uh, you could type the age of your child in and get some really good insights on social media and navigating this, this world that we're in. So there's a lot of information in a short amount of time. Um, these are uh, outstanding learning tools. I'm excited that we're one-to-one -one at this point. We're on a journey together. Um, there's gonna be future modules about uh, maybe issues that pop up, uh, but we're gonna have future modules of uh, digital skills. So keep the feedback flowing. Let us know what you need and uh, Thanks for, for listening. All right, students, parents, and staff. So that is the scoop on the one-to-one -one Chromebook program here at MASH. Um, hopefully you got a, a, a good, good sense of the, the new tips that we are sharing with you with uh, care of the device, responsibilities, expectations for students. Uh, future modules uh, are going to be um, pretty awesome. They're gonna be uh, things about email etiquette, and uh, all sorts of other digital skills that are important here at school and in life. Let's have a great school year.